When you watch famous bodybuilders and the Mr. Olympia Championships, look at fitness magazines or training videos, you believe that it's impossible to achieve good results without special equipment and knowledge. But in the real life, all you need to have is a vision. Have a goal. This is a story about people from Africa who faced incredible challenges in their daily lives, but did not let it break them. No fancy gym, no expensive equipment, and not a damn dollar to spare. These guys set a goal to be different. They proved that you don't need cool gyms and supplements to get great results. This is a sport that comes to you with almost nothing. You don't even have the gym to begin with. And when I'm talking about you don't have the gym, I'm talking you have to make your own gym out of whatever you could find. Pieces of stones, wood, and any metallic object that you could find around. Find sane-minded people and build your gym like these guys. No exercise equipment? No problem. Just use a tourniquet, bars, stones, bottles, your body, and your own strength. They use what they had on hand, the surrounding nature, their own bodies, and homemade weights. These guys motivated millions of people around the world. They turned adversity into their motivation. Ghana, I would say, yeah, it's, a, it's very difficult. Difficult in the aspect of where to train, especially in the food aspect. Most bodybuilders eat like six to 12 times daily, but here looking at how things are, you cannot afford to eat that, you will go bankrupt, you can't. Despite their dietary restrictions, they found ways to get the nutrients that they needed. They explored their local area, studied the plants and the fruits, and found healthy, nutritious options. It shows that if you have a desire, any person is able to get out of their comfort zone without making any excuses oh I don't have the time I don't have the money for a gym or for protein the gym's too far from home it's too cold or rainy today when you follow your goal despite the obstacles despite the naysayers who say they don't believe in you you can achieve anything. I use it as a motivation. So I want to use it to motivate others to know that you don't have to look at where you are. You don't have to look at the situation you are in. You can make big things out from something small. You don't get what you want. 
you get what you work for. Excuses are the enemy of progress. Get up and take action. Challenge yourself. Keep going, keep growing. In Ghana, the average monthly income is equivalent to 170 American dollars. Most gyms are a luxury only available to a few. But that doesn't stop the aspiring bodybuilders. They didn't wait for everything to be perfect. They just took action. They showed us that the true strength does not come from expensive gym equipment or gourmet food. Just believe in yourself and keep going towards your goal. It's time to stop feeling sorry for yourself, to stop whining about what you don't have. Get your sorry asses off the comfy couch, lace up the shoes and hit the streets. Use the damn pavement as your personal playground. Find every obstacle and conquer it. It ain't about money, equipment, or the perfect environment. This is about your mindset, your hunger, Develop a strong mindset and nothing, absolutely nothing, can stand in your way. Embrace the pain. Embrace the struggle. And know that on the other side lies a version of yourself that you can't even imagine. If you want to support this channel, please consider buying a copy of Redemption Day by Michael John Lawrence. Available on Amazon in the link below. Thank you.